if I could just take up a point that Kevin made uh, when clinicians differ, there's only one real uh, clinician who's opposed to this. And in fact, we wrote a letter a couple of weeks ago with 52 consultants from the National Maternity Hospital and the Director of Midwifery, which we signed saying that we had no concerns about the move to St. Vincent's University Hospital and co-locating. But going back to this, we've been working on this for about eight, nine years now. And I think we've all been very heavily involved as clinicians, uh, the legal team representing the hospital. And we do believe there's a deal there that we are very comfortable with. It will give us clinical and operational independence on the new site. And um, we don't believe there will be any religious involvement in the provision of care at the new National Maternity Hospital. And we'll be able to provide all services that are um, within the uh, Irish legislation system. Yeah, you mentioned their clinical independence. It's certainly something that has been brought up of critics of this move, that there are still many questions around that. But do you believe the concerns that people have are legitimate around ownership, control and governance of the hospital? I absolutely think they're genuine concerns. And I, I welcome the opportunity for people to review the legal framework documents that were published last night on the HSE website. And I think there will be an opportunity. And I met with the Green Party uh, parliamentary uh, members this evening to go through the documents with them and to answer their questions and allay their anxieties. And I'm going to do that again over the coming two weeks. And I'll meet with anyone and explain the situation and, and provide the narrative from the clinician's perspective.